the United States in the mid 1800s. It's the Oregon Trail 2, hit here on the Lord Master channel. My name is Lord Master, also known as Earl T. Drummond. And, and welcome back to the Oregon Trail 2 for the first time in three months. Because I have a tendency to do an Oregon Trail video every three months. Because doing it every two months, or every month, or weeks, then, that, then that'll just be overkill. Alright, that's just my personal opinion. This is why... I do this every three months. It's not only because of timing reasons, but it's also due to the other current video projects that I post on a near daily basis that you see in my channel. You know, all the strategy games and a few others and all that, but nonetheless, you'll be expecting some great, wholesome, fun, entertainment and all that crap, but hey, that's, that's what I'm known for and I want to keep it that way, but... Let me tell you, it's not just the Oregon Trail, Oregon Trail 2 that I've been doing as of late, but also um, I did some videos on the Oregon Trail, especially that three-part video, which was, oh my goodness, one of the most difficult trail videos I've ever done, ever. As if being a teacher and a trail guide is hard enough. Well, trying to survive a post-apocalyptic adventure and all that, and uh, keep one of party members alive and all that, but hey. That's all in the past, alright? Don't dwell on it. And of course, there on rare occasions that I would play, you know, derivatives of other Oregon Trail game versions out there. And the Oregon Trails I mentioned before. There's also this other game that I've been playing, which is not part of the Trail series, but it feels like it's in the spirit. And that's Silk Road's Caravan Kings, which I plan on doing another two-parter of that game. Because there's just some achievements that I haven't got all of that yet, but that'll be coming in in the future, if I have enough time to commit, that is, as well as one, possibly two more video series coming soon to the Lord Master channel, in addition to the ongoing Crusader Kings 2 series. But anyways, enough about the future plans here on the Lord Master channel, it's time to set off on the Oregon Trail, because, well, you know, Last time was Sacramento, California, and I'll tell you which where we're going next. Okay, start a little late. Um, I'm a doctor who's come to independence in 1844 for the purpose of setting on the rest of the journey of Oregon City to stick to the classics. Got a Conestoga wagon, still need to buy the supplies, wander the streets of independence, stores, supplies, and enough cash, and people give me good advice. Like who? Like this guy? You heading out west? So am I. In fact, this will be my second trip out on the trail. Well, why'd you come back? Because you, you, the, the purpose of this trail on is to go out west, settle on new land, and, um, you know, live your life. Tell me more. Anyways. Traveled out to the Oregon country three years ago. Liked it a lot. So I decided to come back east round out some of my relatives, and take them all back to Oregon with me. Oh, uh, advice. Find yourself a good wagon train. That's the prime thing. Keep moving and don't take no cutoffs. Stick to the main trail and you'll be okay. Well, the start date is um, 1844. I don't think there's going to be much cutoffs out there when you think about it, but who am I? Oh, I'll tell you who am I in just a second. Merchants here in town offer basic packages of supplies based on the size of one's party and estimated length of journey. Of course, you can shop around on your own or add to the basic set. So, which package would you like? Six months, because I am not confident about what we're about to get into. So, April 1st, 1844. Tyler names John C. Cohn, Secretary of State. I forgot which start date it is, which is often one of the worst. So I don't know if it's on March or on April, or even May of 1844, where it says that heavy rains flooded the Oregon Trail. As in, you, you all encounter a lot more storms and a lot more flooded trails. I mean, that's from my recollection from past experience. So, anyways, time to introduce. By the way, my name is not Earl T. Drummond. It's Dr. Term E. Might, medical doctor. Yep, Dr. Term E. Might returns for the first time in a long time. And the other party members include returning from the Oregon Trail, 
Raja Ganesha, which is a Crusader Kings 2 reference from the ongoing Gupta series. Which Raja Ganesha, um, um, I mean, for those of you that didn't watch Oregon Trail, um, let me tell you who, who, who he was. In the early part of the series of the Gupta series, an ongoing series here on the Lord Master channel, Raja Ganesha was a, originally a Vrachkumar, prince if you will. And when his father abdicated to become a Hindu monk, he took over on the rule of uh, Tirubukti in northern India, northern Bihar state. Um, and then he would later bring his father back to put him on the throne of the kingdom of Bihar, or the kingdom of Magad. Again, all these names sound Indian to you. Um, it's in Bihar state in India, if you want to know modern geography and such. And before he became the... Uh, well, I mean, he eventually inherited the kingdom to become Maharaja. During his young life, before he became a mighty warrior in his own right, he had an, a habit that he picked up. What Raja Ganesha was later known, well, he's best known for other than his warrior talents in the military. He became obsessed with eating foods that has cinnamon in it, to the point where he would not eat a single meal as long as it has cinnamon in it. Especially his favorite, cinnamon toasted sticky buns. That's his personal favorite, to the point where he would hold feasts full of cinnamon flavored foods. And then, <laughs> and then there was a time where scholars warned him not to eat cinnamon early in the morning. And then he did, which, which didn't bode well for him. And then eventually he picked up the gluttonous trait um, because of his set of social cinnamon. And then his uh, father, who, who, you know, later became Maharaja after fighting the war to put him on the throne um, of the kingdom, the whole kingdom. Um, and and there, while he was still a Hindu monk uh, and ascetic, he gave him spiritual guidance to make him lose the gluttonous trait. As a way of saying, practice moderation, son. Don't eat so much cinnamon. Not good for you. It's one of those sort of things. He's like, sorry, master. Sorry, father. But... Still, all this good. And now the others. Everybody knows Old Man Bitch. I mean Old Man B or Old Man Bernard, whatever you want to call him. Don't call me Old Man Bitch! Yeah. And then there's Pipsqueak Jones, who, you know, when I set the ages, he's 12 years old. Is Pipsqueak Jones, because why the hell not? <laughs> but if he does something wrong, it's the only thing to explain. Him. And also, this is um, Helen, which is a name of my Red Dead Redemption online character. Red Dead Redemption 2 online character of mine. You may have seen her in a couple of videos of mine. You know, red haired and sometimes she wears a dark outfit. Sometimes, you know, green coat, black flat cap. Yeah, you might have seen her before. And now this last one, Relene Velia. That is a name of my current character, female character, from Elder Scrolls Online. She's of an imperial race. She's an imperial who is a what the hell is the stealth what the hell's the stealth class's name? I'm just gonna throw it out there. Night Shadow, Nightcrawler, whatever. It's you know, stealth, you know Assassin you know, that sort of thing. Member of the Dark Brotherhood and a couple of other things that I might get into. And as of this recording, currently level eighteen with this character. So I'm working on it. So, so, there you have it. Those are the names. So, let's get to chumping, if we can, in the meantime. About everything you need yet? We probably don't have much more time before we have to start heading out on the trail. You know, this conversation would be great if, like, it says, the merchants and butter, and then the presets, like, I know I took six months, but if I went with no thanks, and if I ever talked to this guy, which he would say, You bought everything you need yet? And I would say, No! I haven't bought everything! I just got here, damn it! Let me decide on what to buy and what not. But, calm down, will ya? You just got here in town. You got your prepackaged supplies. Now you're gonna buy some of the usual stuff that you can't go without. Because it's of the utmost priority to have all these things. What else, um, what do I have in mind about what's coming up on the Lord Mess channel other than what I've mentioned already in the, uh, beginning? 
pickaxes, that's what I need now. Well, you do need a pan or you do need a pot. Because, you know, the jolly of cooking and whatnot. Man, not many shovels. Then we're going to have problems digging out these uh, fallen rocks in case the fallen rocks event were to happen. Well, <laughs> this is just for once because of Raj Ganesha here, and he's obsessed with cinnamon. How much is it for 30 soon? Not much. Oh, and since these are six ounce bottles, I don't think they'll weigh it, weigh it down that much, but boy oh boy, because, <laughs> you know, if you go out of Trail Valley and cinnamon, I don't know what Raj Ganesh would do to himself to get him for it. I mean, it's been Bengali man. <laughs> he's... He's a mighty warrior, but he sure loves cinnamon. And by the way, did you know that he lived up to the age of... I don't remember, 86, 85, 84, somewhere. Somewhere in the early to mid 80s. That's how much he aged. Because later in life, he became a Jayan and retired as a Jayan ascetic, a monk, if you will. And, um... Yeah, and then he became uh, the new Grantha um, of... Rajrapa, later old Jakan. And, um, well, he lived a full life. He was a cinnamon loving warrior who later retired to be a man of peace. Quite possibly. I don't know. Because if, you, if we're going to be talking Crusader Kings, I know this is not the best place to be talking about that sort of thing. Give me the vinegar. Um, and, um, all that sort of thing. And a little more lard because, you know, may never know when Ox gets sick for whatever reason. That requires to gulp him down with lard. Think, think, think. I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. What am I missing? What am I missing? God dang it, I forgot. Medicine! This way! What happens when you ramble on too much and you forget to buy everything that you need? Well, as I said, Raj Ganesh is a unique cat. And I've been hearing that word a lot. Cat. Not cat as an animal, um, but cat is another way of description. It's like, wow, this, you know, this guy or um, this person. <laughs> I mean, I don't like to use fancy model words. Kids comes up come up with these days since you know how old school I am. I may be born in 1992 and I'm 28 years old as of this recording. I'm still pretty old school because, you know, let me tell you how old school I am. There's this show that I've been watching as of late. Um, I've been binge watching as of late. An old cartoon. In fact, two cartoons, in fact. One is Garfield and Friends and the other is, <laughs> this may surprise you even, and even though it's usually targeted to children. The Berenstain Bears. Yes, the, the 1985 Berenstain Bears TV series. Because, you know, it's just a slight bit of nostalgia coming from my childhood. And then some of the things that were said there, I'm like, gee, nobody says that anymore, or hardly anybody says that anymore. So, yeah, there you have it. Oh, and do not forget, rifle is shotgun sheep. If you didn't have them, you would likely just shoot yourself, and uh, all that sort of thing. Just give me a wagon cover, because I don't want to be dealing with this guy right now. I'm not in the mood for that. I am not that angry. And all that. I think that's all I have. No! Animals! I knew it! I knew there was something missing. Well, since I got all this money, but I'm not a banker, so I wouldn't blow all my money on horses. Just stick with the oxen. Dozen oxen and, uh, some chickens and a cow. Yeah. Anything else? Oh, yeah, the spare parts. Um, you have any wagon? No, you gotta go back to this store. Hey, welcome back! Hey, I'm not in the mood to talk to you. I need to get spare parts. Because, you know... Because we might be breaking stuff a lot in case I get angry. For whatever reason. 
I think that's it. If so, let's get out of here. 46 degrees for the low of 26. No need for one to close it unless some freak cold front comes through, which it will, because you're on March. And if that is the case, then we'll buy winter clothes in the next settlement. So go with train one. So let's get going then. Alright, let's adjust the speed here, knowing that what we're gonna get into and yeah, we're slightly overweight here. And I'm talking about the wagon, of course. And let's go hunting immediately. Alright, my fellow party members. Because in case for some reason that I die, I'm going to teach you all how to hunt. Even though I think everybody's familiar with that. But I do not recall... It's a squirrel. I can't shoot from that angle. Oh, I cannot recall if Roger Ganesha, in his life, he ever went to tiger hunts and whatnot. I know when he became a Jayan, instead of a Hindu he was raised, um, later in his life, he never hunted again. Because, you know, Jainism upholds the utmost vow, and that's ahimsa, non-violence. And that means to every living thing. But, I ain't no Jayan, so... There. And if, and if a Jayan were to see something like that, they would just be sad. And, well, they can't get angry over that, and it's just... Back to life, that, well, it happens. But, hey, it's her substance out here. Because this is how you survive on it. I'm teaching you this, people. This is how you're going to survive. In case all the food that you bought is lost for whatever reason, this rifle, and maybe a pistol, and maybe a shotgun, is your only way to put the food on your table. Or whatever we uh, get our hands on out in the wilderness. No, we don't. Ha I never bought a table from the furniture. Maybe I should have because I just mentioned the word table. Seriously, that's all is out there. I ain't wasting any more bullets. Gosh, would that be funny if I got accidentally gunshot right here, right now? But I bought that rifle shotgun sheet in case that were to happen. I call this the Blue River, but it looks just as muddy and brown as the old Mississippi. Tell me more about it. I'm going west with my family in that wagon over yonder. Well, these uh, party members I have here are not my family. We're all just a bunch of strangers in a new land and whatnot. My older brother works on the river in St. Louis. He says, never underestimate a river. Even the ones that look easy can be dangerous. What the? What the? One oxen for ten water kegs? Ten water kegs and one oxen? That is ridiculous. That's the dumbest. I don't need to trade either right now. I know it's kind of early, but still. Just want to pass the time. But a fairly ordinary river. I would call it. They say even the easy ones look dangerous. Heck, it's possible to get tipped over on a pretty tranquil river that is one foot. It happened. So begins the rains, and good thing we crossed it because it was getting muddy out here. So that means it's really pouring out here right now, as we speak. Percival Jurgens. Yes, that's how you spell his name. Percival Jurgens. Maybe next time when I um, play an organ show video, when I do another organ show video, I gotta name some of these people after these, um, these, uh, like Morton Fester, the Undertaker himself, um, or Ezekiel Mays, or Bernard Tadpole, or Tadpoles, because now that I think about it, like I originally thought Tadpole, but upon closer look, it looks like a Z than an E. So Tadpoles, which would indicate that guy must be of Polish descent or whatnot. I don't know. Yipe! Chester Benton, wanted for murder. I don't think he ever came in that band of criminals if you saw the last organ trail video. And speaking of criminals... Ah, greetings, my good friend. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Brogan Kavanaugh, famed on three continents for my marvelous miracle elixir. You know, that guy's wanted for fraud, right? <laughs> hey, you folks heading out on the trail. Be sure to check your supplies often. Yeah, I don't need to know. 
But I'll tell you what I come for. It's the nails and chains. And a little more peck access so it can break fallen rocks much more easier. That's in theory to me. As logic says. Really, you got no furniture despite the fact... What is that I see? That's a butter churn. That's furniture. What the hell are you running on? <laughs> Maybe the other store has something good. Halat and Son? The hell name is that? Oh, that's a pharmacy. Uh, I didn't see that part. I thought it was another general store, but it ain't. Quarrels. This is going to become a theme here, isn't it? Traveling pretty slow because it's still pouring down rain and the ground is still muddy as ever. X6 and Dupree. Horace J. Muggs. Heria. Heria. Erbhard Bonn and Sons. Huh. Musburger Fink and Company. Abarothiera. What the hell? Ferdinand L. Guppy. Nate the Nate Pepper. Or Fink Robbery. What am I here for? Oh yeah, furniture. If you got any. Oh my god, that's the same guy from earlier. Don't tell me. Please, please let there be furniture. Please let there be furniture. Please let there be furniture. Hope chest. You got lucky there. You got lucky there. Otherwise, I would have been like... I was clicking as rapidly as I could. What the hell? Hello. Look at these two. They're walking the same motion. Where are you, by the way? Howdy, folks. Welcome to our fair city. We'd be right pleased to have you take advantage of our various businesses and services. We have a general store well stocked in many of the provisions that you will undoubtedly need in your travels. And you may well find other helpful enterprises as you tour our streets. Well, I can't deny that your general stores around here are pretty well stocked, but there is one thing that's lacking around here. Furniture. Where's the tables? Where's the rocking chairs? Where's the butter churn? Take your time, take your time. Spend a few days with us. We'll be more than glad to help you in any way that we can. Uh, you do have cash money, don't you? Yes, but I'm not buying anything here. Seriously, your town runs like a Mickey Mouse operation around here. You ain't got no furniture. Hello? I ain't doing what I... Well, actually... Due to the fear of possible cold weather, um, there is something I want to buy here. You got any winter clothes? Yeah, yeah, I apologize from earlier. Um, we'll take, uh, what we can. And you got any blankets? Well, people are gonna have to fight over it. Because there ain't gonna be any more towns from this trail from then on out. So let's get moving now. As trail goes slow because it's muddy. My presumption from the beginning was correct. Starting on the spring of 1844 is the one of the worst start dates that you could do in the Oregon Trail, especially if you go down from start from Independence, because it always rains here. The Oregon Trail is flooded. Not entirely trail, but certainly of Kansas and Missouri. Well, Kansas. It's been raining for a week straight, and one of the oxen got injured. We ought to stop for a while. The animal may yet recover. Well, let's slow down for a bit, because as slow as we can go through the mud, after all the rains, that's been raining for more than a week, and now a thunderstorm. Are you scared of a little storm? What's the matter with you? Well, continue as usual. Well, I was about to say when it rains it pours. It's been pouring rain. The ground's kept muddy. What else can you do? There must be another way. There better be, otherwise it's going to be held to pay. Of course not! The entire fucking trail's underwater! Try to ford it. Of course. Personally, I'd like to just leave him behind. But I suppose it ain't fitting to do that, now is it? Mm -hmm. 
double team it. Well, I got still stuck. Well, Raj Ganesh, you better start using up that cinnamon right now. Because we're going to be dumping some stuff, right? I hope... Uh, actually, there is a couple of things I would have dumped. Let me do some thinking around here. Okay. I know we have plenty of bullets. I mean, we can't shoot all of them. Uh, how much does cinnamon weigh? Six ounces. What do you want? Aha! The sugar. I ain't sacrificing the salt because salted meat is good. What else should we do? Not all the spare parts. I mean, I just bought these. And didn't bring any furniture. Which, matter of fact, I think it was good not to bring any furniture. <laughs> Which I originally advocated for it, but now that's practically not going to be the case. What the? Vinegar. Holy Christmas. Well, dump all the dried beans because uh, they're not my cup of tea. This should be good enough. Now, go. Now we're going to move on. Alright, it's nut cutting time because someone's going to get shot around here. Um, okay, okay. What the? There you go, you got the big em. And you missed. I would just take one more animal. Not of a size rabbit, the size of this. I shot straight at it. That's two bucks. All I need is two bucks. Not as in dollars. <laughs> Good enough for me. Well, it's still raining, but... Interestingly, the uh, muddy trail is is gone, so I guess the ground has dried up a bit, but maybe it's drizzling or sprinkling where how the ground, the moisturizing works, saturation of the ground and whatnot. Again, I'm a bit of a weather expert myself, so I used to study a lot of things since I was little. So, um, a little tricky, so you probably want to take a ferry because of all the rainy conditions, and you may never know it picks up again, and then we're going to start having frickin' waves. I suggest we take the ferry. That's the safest way. So, what do you think, Captain Crunch? And they'll be like, I suggest you take the ferry because it's great! Wait a minute, wrong one. Oh, that, that, that's wrong. Look, it's been a long time. I don't remember what Captain Crunch sounds like, but I don't know what Tony the Tiger sounded like. Take the ferry. Yipe. Well, we caught some fish, but, and it's the ground is getting muddy again. Gosh dang it. I mean, we did rest a little bit while we were hunting earlier, so while I was hunting, the other party members were catching fish. And the old man is doing okay compared to the rest, because, you know, he's old. But do clean him for food, because you may never know, they got mud on him when you... It's like, okay, we got some fish, and we got the fish on the ground. No, no, don't put that there, there's mud. Clean it. Holy crap, 45 pounds of salted fish. Clearly, we've been using that fishing net because a fishing pole and fishing spear would not catch that many fish. This is the work of a fishing net. Not surprisingly. The animals are getting scared by the lightning and thunder. Perhaps it would be best for us to stop until this storm blows over. No, we gotta keep going. And if nobody wants to keep going, well then, guess what? You couldn't propel a flea's motorcycle around the raindrop. Hello, stranger. I'm Martin Isaacs, originally from New York City. Wouldn't know it from looking at me now, I guess. Well, do tell me more. Is there anything about this river? Man offered me a grand opportunity to see the world, visit some curious places, and benefit my mind and pocket. So I signed up for this journey. I'm a city boy. Didn't know what I was getting into. Advice. This river looks like it could be treacherous. The cattle don't seem any too eager to cross. 
We may build a raft and try taking them across that way. I don't think I'd try fording, but I'm not always the best judge of that. Oh my god, 12 canteens for an ox. You must be mad. You have boots? Well, let me tell you something, New York farmer, just based on the way he dresses. Your mother wears army boots, alright? Sure, these boots came from the army, but... Wait a minute, boots. Why do we think of that? Boots! Everybody should be wearing boots because the ground is so damn muddy all the time and wearing these shoes, it's been mud gets to do it. We should all be wearing boots. You know, let's trade that. Here you go. Sorry about the mother wears boots remark. It's just, you know, you don't want to catch cold um, when, you know, it's out in the rain and then we'd be trotting through mud all the time. And this river could be extremely treacherous, so... Who's gonna drown first? Will it be Raj Ganesh? Old Man Vich? Rip! Pipsqueak Jones? Helen? Or Relena Velia? By the way, that name, Relena Velia, I didn't come up with it on top of my head. I was using the random name generator for Imperial Race on the internet. So let's go to the wagon float. Oh, shh. God damn it! I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. We weren't going fast. Oh. We were conking and floating in the wagon. We didn't use ox to ford it because we know we can make the ox go fast when crossing a river. And yet, we're at the mercy. And the fact that it's rainy and windy, that what made it go fast? Get it upright. Ranchkinesh! We should rest a bit before moving on. Yeah, I bet you didn't like the taste of water compared to the taste of scenery you get every damn time. So he's calming difficulty with unconscious and weakness. So yeah, we better rest here for a while. Two days. I'll give you two days. And yes, it's possible for you to continue as usual. And then it says drowning's take a turn for the worst. And it never kills the character, by the way, unless he's been sick prior. Yeah, that's. I mean, look at the ground. It's all pretty and such from Scott Spring while the ground is still getting muddy. Gosh dang it. Oh, not again. I reckon there's not much we can do until the waters die down. We're being treated like yesterday's news with this weather. Alright, we forded it through. <laughs> Keep going! Alright. We've, uh, delayed only one day, surprisingly. There's too many wagons trying to cross the river right now. We've got to wait. Well, we've been waiting. Just like this guy over here, which he's looked like. Please hurry up! Please hurry up! That's, I mean, every time I see that, it just makes it look like he's seizing. He's like, come on, hurry up! Hurry up! And then, while others are just, like, one guy is bored. She used to read in the past time and the others just check out the supplies. But this guy's like, hurry up! Oh no. Not again. I mean, I could rest, but I doubt it's gonna improve anyway. Looks fairly deep to me. I say we float across. Yeah, four feet deep. It. Oh my goodness! <laughs> no, we dodged that bullet. We need to get out of Kansas. It's been raining non-stop with no sign of clear conditions. I cannot believe it's been raining this long. See, I told you folks, if you are going to be playing the Oregon Trail 2, or the Oregon Trail 5th edition, you know, the one that's very similar to this one, I highly recommend do not start on the spring of 1844. So, Oregon Trail westward. Please stop raining. Oh, not again. Are you scared of a little storm? Yes, because it's going to bog us down every damn time. I'm starting to lose my train of... Ranj Ganesha again. Sprained shoulder. Must have tripped on some mud. Uh, wait a minute, what's your condition again? I didn't pay attention. I mean, I'm the doctor here, so... Swollen and painful joints. Well, you better immobilize that affected joint, because... It's not good if, um, if it's gonna be like that. So, 
you'll be doing all right, Raj Ganesh. Just eat some cinnamon-flavored sticky buns or whatever your favorite food is. Stick it up. Stick. Speaking of sticky buns, it stopped raining. God damn it! There must be another way. And it's still raining. <laughs> we had one rain-free day. We thought that. I don't know. Hey, Raja Ganesha, you're a Hindu. Whoever controls the weather, please pray it in a Sanskrit shloka that let the please stop raining here. And it's still raining. And it's still raining. Are you scared of a little storm? You goddamn right I am. <laughs> The world hates me. Slowly losing it. That's it. I'm hunting again. <sighs> Will this please the weather gods? Whoever is the god of storms or goddess of storms or whoever. One thing's here. If I were to I don't know, shoot on and offer it up as a sacrifice to something. And maybe, just maybe, this will make the rain stop and fall at a regular rate and not something it's not like there is a cyclone encircling all of America like it's a curse or something of endless rainstorms keep going still muddy no water well there's water everywhere oh we had one rain free day but what um, in fact, let me look it up in that. Okay, we're out of Kansas, but it only took in the middle of Nebraska to, for it to stop raining. I guess it finally went away. Now I can return to normalcy. But if I hear another severe thunderstorm, it's just going to be... It's raining, but it's not muddy. Okay, so now it's back to being regular world weather. When I think of all the things I've seen on this journey, nothing has impressed me more than the violent thunderstorms on the plains. Yeah, that sure was more than a month's worth of weather. From the bullwhip crack of the lightning dazzling my eyes, to the cannon-like boom of thunder, the heavens issued forth such a volume of water, we were all soaked through in the first few seconds, and the hail sometimes. We never had a hell storm, unfortunately. Uh, I take time each day to add a few words to my journal. I recommend you do the same. It lifts the spirits to record our progress, and it may prove valuable to friends and family that follow. Even generations to come may find it of some interest. Yeah, I just did. I never want to experience this again, this weather. <clears throat> Unless I'm purposely doing a bad run, which I'm trying not to. We could have gotten... How many hats do you have? Six hats. We should all be wearing hats. I mean, there's no need for winter coats anymore, but you may want to save a few in case you were to trade with the, with the Indians and whatnot. But anyways, um, let's get going. And hopefully there'll be no muddy trail ever. Get going. Where was I? South Platte River. It's always an extreme treacherous river, no matter what. Let me see. What do we got here on the agenda? California Hill. Doesn't look very steep. It's not muddy. But, hi. I am Chichistas. To the Sioux and the white men, we are known as the Cheyenne. My name is Stairs at the Sun. You know, if I was part of your tribe, I would call myself... Ah, uh, I don't know, I don't know. I, would, I was thinking of anything that has to do with rain, but no, there's already a, a Pawnee um, guy from Pawnee Village by the name of Tall Rain Cloud. Never mind, he's taking that name. But, but anyways, tell me more about this hill. This hill is one of the worst places on the Medicine Road of the Whites. I've seen many people and animals hurt or killed here. Well, do you have any advice on that? It is always best to travel light. 
If you remove things that you do not need from your wagon, you may have a better chance of getting to the top of the hill. Well, let's try that then. I'm just looking. Everybody's got boots and hats. Uh, nah, we'll be alright. It would have been funny if we tipped over and I would have said, no, we're not alright. Fine scenery around these parts. Mm -hmm. But hey, it doesn't take a brain-sized scientist to figure out how to get down from this hill. And as it's raining here, all I can say is please don't let it be muddy. Because I can't take it anymore. God! It says it right here? You need to stop talking about the weather right now. Just let it happen naturally. I have to kill an animal in order to please the weather gods or whatnot. It's almost like the curse of the great spirits come back again, even though we did not interact with the guy who's, you know, who warns us of this sort of thing. But hey, I haven't killed any buffalo yet, all right? So try not to make it so. But here's a bear, which is a menace to society. I shot slightly above the bear and the bully got him, but then again, there is such thing as bullet drop. Maybe not, but that's just my guess. Well, hopefully, it'll make a change here. So. Hmm. Anyways, um, everybody's doing okay except for the old man who's... I mean, I mean, I should say everybody's doing good except for the old man who's doing okay. What? What do you mean I'm okay? What's the difference of being okay and good? Well, let me tell you something. If you don't, um, man up, I'm gonna beat you like a bag of puppies. What? This here's Robodeau Pass. I hear it's named after a Frenchman, Joseph Robodeau, who's well known in these parts as a trader. Oh yeah, I knew another Frenchman. His name is, um, Cadillac Jones. Some folks say St. Joseph, Missouri was named after him too, but I don't rightly know about that. Can't say that I do. You got a hat to boots? Yeah, everybody's got boots and hats. I guess it's the standard equipment for this trail. Could have bought it at the store, but no, I had to trade this guy who had many hats. And this other guy with many boots. Because we all had to trot through the mud and whatnot. Howdy, I'm looking for my cat Molly. Have you seen her? No. I hear there ain't many cats out west yet, and some folks will pay good money for one, so they can catch the mice and rats. We're hoping Molly will have lots of kittens that we can sell. We had a milk cow, but she died a while back. Now all Molly's got to eat is our meat scraps. If you got a milk cow, take good care of her. I think I miss the fresh milk pretty near as much as Molly does. Oh yeah, after all these tip -offs, do I still even have a cow? Well, good. We have a cow. Why don't you get a cow, um, Dr. Termy might? Here we are. Fort John. John, John, John. Anyways, um, what else, what else do we have here? I'm trying to remember something. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> let me tell you. Um, oh yeah, one of my friends I was talking to last night, um, on the Xbox, um, which he named his top five basketball players. And of course, you know me, that I tend to be funny or ignorant of all things sports, and yet I know all the names of the athletes. <laughs> and yet, I named my own top five basketball players. And by the way, all these names I'm about to say here are not basketball players at all. So, here we go. Lord Masters, top five basketball players. Number five, Tiger Woods. Number four, Tom Brady. Number three, Lionel Messi. Number two, Mickey Mantle. And number one, Tony Hawk. Those are my top five basketball players. <laughs> well, and the old man is going to be like, I'm going to waffle you in the side of the head just for saying that crap. Yeah. That 
was something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let me see here. Um. That's dang it. I don't remember. Other than, yeah, we lost a couple of supplies, but anything that would be of great importance? No, not really. You got any furniture? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no fort would sell furniture. I mean, <laughs> gosh, can you imagine on day to day operations of a fort, uh, of U.S. Army fort that would be like, okay, here's what we're gonna have for the stock, just to help with the travelers that'll be moving on on west. Uh, and the uh, commander will be like, um, I'm gonna make this one exception for you to not supply with, and as, uh, to order it from out east. And they'll be like, what's that? Furniture. If any of those guys could be asking for furniture, just tell them say we don't have any. At all. <laughs> Bastards. What is this? Is that a table I see? Hey! Sh shut up with that sneezing. I don't care if you're sick or not. They tell me someone in this wagon train is looking for a doctor. Is that true? No, we're surprisingly all healthy. Even though Raj Ganeshan had a near drowning experience and a uh, sprained shoulder. Or was that ankle? I don't remember. I got a lot of money and I don't, you know. Do you have any other things? We still have all our spare parts. Ah, come on. Let's get moving. Right, let's continue. And as per Oregon Trail tradition here on the Lord Master Channel, hunting at Register Cliff is a must. Oh, and also I gotta keep my voice down because across the street from me as I'm recording, there is a s state trooper vehicle outside. I guess they're looking for a possible suspect across the street. But then again, I can't say I blame them because notoriously across the street lives for me tends to live people who are of the ill repute. And that's the most polite thing I'm ever going to say about them. So let me get a... Oh, we've lost the shot. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, yeah, you lost the shotgun, but did you ever? Oh... My God, you forgot to buy sacks of shot. This shotgun is useless. Turn around, go back to the fort and buy some shotgun shot. Howdy, I need some shot. Well, never mind then. Unless some of you fellas have. Anyways. Well, we can't miss this opportunity now. No time to check it out now. Use your pistol. So we're at Register Cliff, the place where hunters go to die. Gotcha! Yeah, I feel good right now. Ooh, headshot! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I'm feeling lucky. Whoa. Oh, I understand now. Um, I just looked across the street again. Not only there's a state trooper vehicle, but there's also an, an ambulance. So I guess, it, I mean, I just saw one of the officers ran as if uh, there's a serious situation here. So um, it's a wonder how I'm recording an organ trail while there's an ongoing situation across the street. But let's just keep going and try not to raise your voice too much. Oh, hell. Uh, let's keep our voices down for this. I think we ought to go up to him and say howdy. No, shut up. Shut up. You may never know they are the ill repute. Just wait to see what they do. While they continue on their way. You see? You may never know who they are. They might be thieves or something. You may never know. All right, let's board that river. Time is a wasting. Let's get out. Yeah. 
Oh, hold on. Let me read you a little poem for you people. Um, even though I said this to my, uh... Look, uh, oh, I mentioned about the names of the other party members. I considered naming one of the party members, um, Lily. Which, uh, I don't want to do that right now because... It's not because she's my ex-girlfriend, it's just... What may happen to her on a trail might be the most awkward thing that would happen to me. But, you know, I'm currently single now. Single for about a month now. More than a month, slightly. Um, so, ladies, if you want me, well, I'm available. Until I'm not. Even though my friends uh, told me earlier that I should say, Hey, Lord Master, you should get into Tinder. And I'm like, I'll do that when I turn 30. I'm 28. I still got prime of my life yet. So anyways, here's a poem. Roses are red, violets are blue. If I had your face, I'd be in a zoo. <laughs> and the old man's gonna be like, Newsflash! Nobody gives a shit about your poem! Hope nobody drinks that alkali water while we were here. Because you know, there may never been a, may never know there'll be a chance of that. Oh yeah, here's another place we're often hunt. Split rock. This time, bring a rifle. That drew them out. Gonna kill your friends until you come up. That's it. Oh, oh, for a moment I thought I heard a. Uh, oh, 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 calm down. Whew. <laughs> Rainy with alkali. What if it's raining alkali water? Can you imagine that? That'd be a freak. But you need to stop talking about the weather. The weather could turn muddy, you know. It could happen. You need to shut the front door with that. But, anyways, um. Hey, what say you folks? Well, I ain't sure which way we ought to go now. Yeah, I don't need to know. So you don't I don't know. like the looks of the trail over there on the Deep Sands Road. So you're leaning towards three crossings. On the Deep Sands route, the sand is thick and heavy, and wagons can get bogged down in it. Why, I even hear it can turn to quicksand after heavy rains. It don't matter to me which way we go, long as it's going west. Well, I'll tell you, it'll be decided by the only way that can be decided here. The coin toss. Heads, deep sand route, three crossings is tails. Tails is three crossings, so best two out of three. Good luck. Oh, it's spinning a bit. Uh, we got one for three crossings. And, uh, we got... Uh, heads for deep sands routes. One more. Frick! Heads, deep sand route. Hope it doesn't turn muddy. Otherwise, it's gonna be hell to pay. Oh, 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 I just had a muscle cramp. Slap it back in. That's what I do when I have a muscle cramp. Just slap it or punch it. No quicksand. Thank the gods. Let's get going. Don't rain, don't rain, don't rain. Because I don't want it to rain when it's uh, hill crossing time. God damn it! Fairly ordinary river. Surprised we haven't got stuck in the mud, but then again, we've been tipping over a few times throughout. And, uh, subsequently, for all this that's been occurring here, but I, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, that man, oh, hold on, I'll just wait until I see another heavyset man out, out on a trail. If I consider a guy a heavyset, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm gonna t kick him in the no-nos, alright? <laughs> so, let's get moving. Pacific Springs, move. Try sending move. Party of the ways. Crap. Here we go again. It's time for more coin tossing action. I don't give a care what the people think um, about this. Oh. 
Heads Fort Bridger, tails uh, sublet cutoff. But remember, we're going to Oregon City, so no matter where we take, we're still gonna go that way anyhow. Okay, we got one. One for uh, heads for Fort Bridger. And uh, get, 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 go. God damn it, it's uh, sublet cutoff, so it's one on one. May the best path win. And it's, um, Stop that cut off. Whatever you do, don't take that road. They call it a cut off. Ain't nothing but death and misery for everyone who's traveled it. Oh, Roger Ganesh, what's the matter with you, man? I think we ought to stop for a couple of days. When people are all tuckered out, they tend to get sick like this. Well, have some vinegar because it's been weighing down on a wagon, so we better use it. Because it would be of best interest. And don't spread it to the other members, because, you know, bad colts can be spread to other folks in this wagon. Train. I'm surprised the old man, Pipsqueak, and the ladies haven't gotten into any trouble. Otherwise, I would do something really, really harsh. Time to hunt again. Bam. I was thinking about leaving it just right then and there, but now... There could be something else out here. Oh shit, a female moose. Moose are big. That's good. Hmm. Hey, Ron's gonna you're all better. Bull. That is bullshit, Ron's gonna Don't lie to me about your health. Just because you're good doesn't mean you're cured or recovered. Don't you dare. Not again. This storm is so fierce, we can hardly see ahead of us. I say we should wait it out. Makes me want to shoot the clouds. In fact, I might do that right now. If I only had a shotgun, it would have a much better chance to hit. Shoot the clouds. Shoot it. Shoot the storm. Shoot it. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. That one's a male moose. There, it went away. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh, tapping out. Roll credits. We're not gonna beat that. And anyways, it's raining and thunder and something terrible. I don't think we should do any more traveling today. Ah. Oh. And it would be two times funnier if the storm, act, the lightning actually struck one of my oxen and I would be forced to butcher it. Oh man. Oh man. Hey, that's it. People, you got any sacks of shot? Well, look at you. You got more lard than a Crisco company. But anyways. Anybody have shot? Because I need to load up that shotgun finally. If we still have a shotgun. Since we tipped over that last hill. Yeah, we still have a shotgun. You got any shot? Ladies and gentlemen, we got some shot. Anything is fine. Raj Ganesh will be mad at me if I take away his uh, cinnamon. But here's a few pemmican because we're starting to more rely on meat. Excuse me. Shoot the f***ing clouds. Make the storm go away. Make the storm go away. It, it would be terrible to shoot a rabbit with a shotgun. That's overkill. Shoot the clouds. Oh. Again, I'm a bit slow to aim. One shot left. Gotcha! You know, have you... It's kind of dangerous to come back with no ammo. I mean, sure, you won't get accidentally gunshot, but... You know, bears or mountain lions will be out to get you. I hope you taught your lesson, Storm! Let's go to Fort Hall. There, it stopped raining, but... Hey, if it was raining here... Crossing Thomas Fuck I mean Thomas Fork would be a very, very terrible thing because 
That increases the chance of tipping over. And seven feet of water also increases the chance when soon after being uh, tipped over, there's a good chance that any one of these characters could drown. What? What do you say, folks? I think we should cross the river now. Looks fairly deep to me. And conking a wagon and boat will be the best option. But hey. I'm such a low rent goof. Barely dodged it. Oh, mother. Now you're gonna deal with Big Hill. <laughs> Look at the way them folks is struggling to get down the Big Hill. Half of them don't know what the heck they're doing. Big Hill is one of the worst places you're liable to come across. It's bad enough when the weather's dry, but hoo-wee, when it's wet and raining, you couldn't give me all the greenbacks in Philadelphia to try it. When the weather's bad, don't even think of going down a hill like this. Wait till it dries up a mite, and be sure to take precautions, like using one of them fallen pine logs over there as an anchor on your wagon. Makes it less likely to break away. Hmm. Well... Let me tell you something. I know the ground's muddy, but it's not rainy, but I'm kind of divided between anchor the wagon or uh, use rope and chains. Or chains. Whatever. And or chains. <laughs> but anyways, um... But shall we trade first? As I have a habit of doing that. You got any more shot? Because I've been using up some shotgun. But hey... <laughs> I'm gonna convince this, I mean, I'm sure this guy, let me tell you, that man, he's got a brain of a dehydrated baby. That's right, I said it, he's got a brain of a dehydrated baby. And he's wearing biscuit for shoes because he's an undercover hillbilly. But, I'm gonna tell him that it's like, hey, this is a new currency, this is a new dollar, alright? Well, I mean, I'm not talking about that cryptocurrency stuff, but this is, it may look like a deck of playing cards, but no. It's got value in it. This is the new money that will replace the green paper that we use here on out on the trail. So, once he realizes, it's like, Hey, I've been in! And then I'll be like, Hey, the lollipop company just called. They liked you to pose for the world's largest sucker. So the hill looks steep and muddy, so let's anchor it. Ha 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 ha. I know you can't see me on the screen, but imagine me giving this guy the finger. <laughs> Again, I would be laughing up world to right now, but the reason I'm laughing like that is because the state troopers are still across the street. They're still there. The cops are still outside. So it's best to keep your voice down, otherwise I'll be charged for disturbing the peace. Speaking of disturbing the peace, let's go disturb some peace right now. <laughs> Woohoo! I've done disturbed your peace. Damn, I'm a sh hell of a shot against these birds. And I got a bird too. I'm trying to shoot him in the head. Go down, you mother... Smile, you son of a... You took like four headshots and that goat knows no when, when to, doesn't know when to quit. Let's get accidentally shot ourselves just for reloading that. Oh, oh, I thought I heard a gunshot in my, in my head. I'm not talking about the cross street, but the in-game accidental gunshot sound of a pistol going off. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm just paranoid, that's all. Wait a minute, do I... That last tip over. Do I even still have the uh, rifle shotgun sheep? <gasps> I don't anymore! Well, you better watch where you're hunting, alright? You need to calm down with that hunting. I know the country ahead of us is plentiful of animals out there. But if the mountain lions or the bear comes after me, I'm, it's going to be like, Payback's alright, you know what. So... Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. 
Otherwise, it'll be putting G and get even against me. I think we ought to keep going. Yeah, come on. Surprised we haven't had a single injury or tib or whatever that relates to heavy fog out there. We're nearly choking on this dust. Why don't we stop and let those other wagons get far enough ahead so that we don't travel in their clouds of dust? Let's try to get past them other wagons. See how they like to eat our dust. Let's get going. We'll beat them to it. All right, we arrived at Fort Hall. We'll visit it in just a moment. I also want to remind you people that every time when I uh, save this game, the save file is called... Hold on. <coughs> this, no, that's not the name of the save file. The name of the save file that I use for... All the Oregon Trail recordings is all in one file, which is simply called Jackass. Because you know how I am. <laughs> so everybody's doing good again, because under the care of Term E Might, you will never fall ill again. Because this is what the world needs. The world needs Dr. Term E Might. Medical doctor for all your medical needs. Dr. Term E Might. <laughs> How's doing, friends? You must belong to that wagon train that just pulled in. Oh, yeah, you're the sucker. I'm a scout round about these parts. I hire myself out to the army, wagon train, surveyors, just about anyone in need of my services. Sorry I can't help you folks right now. I got me a contract and I'm sticking to it. Oh, don't worry. I got a contract that's a good match. And speaking of match, oh, I said this one time to my friend about matches and whatnot. And I said, your mother's a great match. <laughs> Rest up here for a day or two and restock your supplies. But don't waste too much time. You'd best be heading on your way soon to beat the snows. Whatever you say, you undercover hillbilly. I don't know what the hell that mean. I didn't come up with it. I heard it from some guy. Like, not like that guy, that low rent goof. Would you like to buy something? Just take a look at the goods and store. You might need something. I heard rumors you've been tipping over your wagon a few couple of times. Because, seriously, you look like a trash can with a hula skirt with that kind of conditioning you're in. Did you just call me a that I'd look like a trash can with a hula skirt. You dared skip a hippie? What the Anyways. Wait, and how much speaker do we have? Oh, no, no, it's not available here in this store. Oh, we need more dry bed because Raj Ganesha likes to have cinnamon toasted sticky buns. And buns is bread. And you ain't got no shot. You folks looking to do some trading? Braden is one of the main things people do out here at Forts. Why, it's pert near a form of entertainment for some souls. Keep a sharp eye out on your supplies and your money. There's some unscrupulous types around here that wouldn't mind relieving you of some of your possessions. You know, you look familiar, but I don't know. You do look kind of familiar. These clothes, that hat, and all that, because it reminds you of a certain somebody with a peg leg. Must be a uniform standard or something for people like you. Oh, never mind then. Well, I'll just go back in and... Hey, welcome back! Are you the bison? Do you have any shot again? Oh, yeah, yeah, give me some shot! Thank you very much. Well, thank you. Well, you're welcome! Now get the hell out of my stir! Uh, it's just like the rivalry, it's just like the rivalry between two men whose hatred nearly destroyed a country. True story, by the way. 
It happened in one of the video series here on the Lord Master channel. It was Crusader Kings 2, When the World Stopped Making Sense, Sogdia. Which, it happened on the, uh, the, uh, Hanate of, uh, Sogdiana. Uh, there was a rivalry between two men, a Sogdian and a Xanbe. Um, which the rivalry was so heated that, um, the rivalry was so heated that, um, they challenged each other for duels, which resulted in losing each other's limbs. And then in the second duel, they did it again. And then they fought each other in a countrywide civil war. And then, uh, the civil war nearly destroyed Sogdia on its infrastructure and its economy and all that. A lot of lives were lost on those few years of a, of a devastating civil war. And, and even even after, you know, the guy who, who killed that man, again, the guy who came up top, it's, it was the Sogdian um, who came out on top. Faridun, that was his name. Which that guy was a patriot. He really loved this country, and and when and uh, the guy he rivaled with was a total foreigner who came from another territory, who raided his lands, and since he did not have the military forces to take him out, so we had to, so they had to bring in this guy in to settle the land, and then the hatred between the two men continued on from there. As I said, it, it, it nearly destroyed the country, man. It took decades for it to recover. Yes, it all happened on video from the Sogdian series here on the Lord Master Channel. You can check it out. So anyways, let's get back to the story of the Oregon Trail at the end. So let's, um, we'll cock the wagon and float. God damn it! Personally, I'd like to just leave him behind. But I suppose it ain't fitting to do that now, is it? What? Why well, I got stuck? I didn't buy that much st the meat. How much pounds of salt to meat do you have? Holy Christmas! And we still have the old salted fish. I guess we keep it preserved. A thousand pounds of salted meat from all the past hunts. I'll cut it down by half. If you lighten your wagon load, you may be able to pull your way out. Well, this should work. Here we go. Now, let's go hunting again. Find the biggest god's danged animal you see out there. Otherwise, I'm going to be ending up like that drug-robbing bank addict, or that rob-addicting drug banker, or that bank addict, bank-addicted drug robber. What's his name? Oh, here's another. Gotcha. Still haven't got shot myself again. <sighs> Don't worry, party. We're gonna stick together like bacon and eggs. Oh, we just passed through the rough trail in time before the rain really gets out of hand. Oh god, it's rainy. Party! You know I've been trapping and trading in these yar mountains for near 20 Not years. Not this guy again. Underation! Last year a young grizzly invited itself to breakfast. In the tussle it bit me right on the shoulder. I reckon I'm not gonna take that from man or beast. So I bit it right back. <laughs> That thar bar ain't bothered a soul since. You're a freak, man. What did I tell you? If in some of your party take the scurvy, feed him a bit of raw wild onions. That'll cure him. Works near well as fruit in preventing it, too. Uh, that's so. Uh, but I'll tell you what. Everybody wears boots. Why don't I? What could I take that would benefit me? How about some bacon? Oh my goodness, you got a lot of bacon. Unfortunately, that's too much for it. So, let's try again. For lots of bacon, not all. So, give me 250 pounds then. 
quarter of these bacon supplies. Here you go, winter. Now let's use ropes chains. And let's go hunting one more time. Just to make up for all that meat that we dumped. Yes, all the meat that we dumped. I think it may require one more animal for it. And then um, we'll get on moving. Don't reload the weapon. You don't want to accidentally shoot yourself and get yourself killed. Let's get out of here. Alright, we're good now. What are we waiting for? Let's cross. Yeah, let's get moving then. 60 feet wide. Let's ford it. Oh, I knew it was only a matter of time, but that would happen. If we all pitch in, we can clear a path through these rocks in just a few hours. Let's get our tools. No, let's continue over it. Okay, we can't continue it. But what do It'll you say? It'll probably take us a day or two to clear those rocks out of our way, but I don't think we have much choice. Let's get to work on it. I am not going to break my back to clear those rocks. Let's try to find another path. Pipsqueak! Where did you get the typhoid fever from? Get a vice. Dang it! We've got to get the sick folks to a doctor. I, n I never heard that conversation before. But I wish there was a party button where I could repeat it. So, dang it! <clears throat> dang it! we got to get those sick folks to a doctor. That's my impersonation, but I never heard it like that. I don't like it. I once heard of a town where nearly half the children and old folks were killed by typhoid. Dang it! We've got to get the sick folks to a doctor. Dang it! We gotta get the sick folks to a doctor. Some folks think that typhoid is spread by contaminated food and water. Maybe we ought to clear out. The water here may be bad. Because we spent a good deal of time here on the fallen rocks area right next to a river. Um, typhoid fever. Wasn't that also known as slow fever, or was that camp fever? Back in Crusader King's days. Um, typhoid, 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 typhoid! Spread by contaminated food and water, yeah. Yeah, all these, um, symptoms here can lead to organ failure and death. Proper treatments. Oh my goodness, that takes a long time for that person to recover. Well, how are you then? Body aches, diarrhea, digestive problems, fever, headaches, insomnia. Well, we could try to control the fever and rest a few days when we get to our destination. Come on, get moving! Giving you a few days rest. Well, hope for the best. Water, water everywhere. God damn it! We can continue at a slower pace, and the people with the injured animal can unhitch it and see if it can keep up. If you hit continue as usual on injured livestock, you automatically lose a knock. It's basically the equivalent to in abandoned injured animal. But hey, it's time to celebrate the fourth. Yes, this coming July 4th on 2021, we're going back to normal. Damn it! And we don't want any screw-ups around here, right? <laughs> Normalcy will return. At least, my kind of normalcy. <laughs> Even though I've already been living a normal life, a normal simpleton life of, you know, all these things. Anything more than that, then it'd be uncivilized. It'll be weaker than cat piss. Let's continue. Moving, get moving, get moving, get moving, get moving. What are you slowing down for? Stock up. Uh, bam. <laughs> That's just to teach him a lesson. Which way is west? Well... What do you say? South Alton or Alto or Fort Boise? What say you? I suggest you look in the guidebook to determine the correct road. I'm not looking up no guidebook. I don't know which way we should go. He's undecided. 
Maybe we better consult our guidebook be The guidebook can kiss the 1% of my ass, alright? I want nothing to do with this alleged book. I only use the guide for two reasons. One, it's to look up diseases, and the other is, um... Gee, I don't know. Maybe wild game, since I have a habit of hunting. I mean, all these things is pretty interesting. Rifles are best to watch hunt games, smaller games such as birds. Rabbits should probably rely on a shotgun. A pistol won't be much use hunting except perhaps small arms very close range. Be sure to take very good care of your firearm. Protective shields, highly recommended intense keep prime condition. Oh, okay. That's what this is for. I never read this part before until now. Reduces the likelihood of an accident. Aha. Uh -huh. So as time goes on, without that sheep, you are making that weapon in deteriorated condition and and makes it shoot accidentally. Especially if loaded. So, yeah. Uh, all that. Gee, a lot of more of this than the hunting in the guidebook. I should be reading more. This is what I get for being illiterate out there on the trail. I just rely on my own instincts and experience. So. Bear is dangerous game, best left undisturbed. Few creatures are more dangerous than man is a wounded bear. Mountain lions are also best left alone. Not because of dangers they pose, but also their flesh is said to be quite foul in taste. Even though I've never seen one. But fishing is good here, since we're at this area, allegedly. Now, let's decide. Head south alternate route. Tails, road to uh, Fort Boise. Best two out of three, of course. Uh, let's reach it here. What do I got? Uh, Fort Boise. Uh, that wasn't much of a flip, but I'll take it. It's God dang it, heads. Why is it always... And the deciding is... Fort Boise. You know what that means. Two to one feet deep, extremely treacherous. I'm Natalia Nyasnyakovich. My right. family is going to the big valley in the west, where there is so much good land. Well, howdy to you. We are from St. Petersburg. We have many great mountains in Russia, but not near where we live. I have never seen such mountains as the ones here in America. Mm. At the next hills or mountains we come to, we will share with another wagon to do what they call double teaming animals. Maybe that will work well for you. Well, double teaming isn't going to work in this river here. I was about to say the word toots because I heard that word the other day and I'm wondering, I don't think anybody says that anymore. <laughs> I was about to say, well, double teaming ain't gonna work around here, toots, but <laughs> mind your language, Lord Master. You are single, but you're not desperate, all right? Everybody's got boots, too. See? Boots is a party. Look, she's wearing boots right now. You can see that. Hey, how about you, Bardo? I don't like the looks of the river right now. Neither do I, but... Weather's not right for crossing a river. Well, no, no, the weather is good, because if we wait here, the storms may come back and haunt me. We got to ford the river now! Damn it. A wagon accident, well... I figure we're seeing the elephant for sure now. Alright, quick. Who's gonna die first? The old man's never affected, and neither is the lady, so... Who's gonna drown? Who's gonna drown? It's... No one. We're just born lucky. And plus all that good meat went away. I assume. Because we're still hauling all that meat. Get moving. Because we got some interesting... Zarland 14-1. That's what it looks like from my perspective. Anyways. Bonneville Point. Should we get to Fort Boise? Boy, I have something to take care of. I sure would like some fresh vegetables. We'll stop and get her. 
there was a time... Well, it happened a few times. Scatter vegetables, and then the character dies. Suddenly! <laughs> but it's self-inflicted, you know. All that and more. Okay, to the four. Hey, mind if I speak to your post commander? Howdy! Howdy! Buenos dias! Double talk, eh? Alright, you sure you got no furniture? You will be like, of course we don't. We don't sell furnitures here at the fort. I mean, who the hell wants to buy a table in the fort? We use our tables for meetings, not for eating. We don't put our meals in the table. What are you, some kind of a... Am I... What am I a what? What am I to you? That's right, you say nothing. Come over there and bop you. Now come over here and bop you. There's no hunting allowed in this area, because it's a fort. Because if you're going to be shooting nearby the fort, those U.S. Army soldiers are going to get suspicious. That the, the, well, just keep going, just hunt up in the countryside. Such as this here, final snake drop. Where did all the gunpowder go? And the rifles! The, the pistol's gone too! That snake river really took its toll. Turn around! I ain't going anywhere without the weapons nor the ammunition. And the gunpowder, I mean. And I apologize for murdering. <sighs> now we can go hunting. Let's get down to business. <laughs> you know, eating all this meat, I'm sure this fans the character since we left it at uh, filling rations. But it ain't gonna be like 2015 for me when I was at my fattest back then. Because uh, the heaviest I was was 242 pounds. That was the, my heaviest weight. Now I'm 131 the last time I checked. So, yeah, congratulations me. Even though I lost all that weight significantly back in 2018. But I remained around that weight since 2019. Look at this big... That's all you're going to hunt. And please don't reload your weapon. You're going to accidentally shoot yourself one day. So anyways... When I was at my fattest back then, there was this one time that I went to the clinic. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I went to my doctor and he said I was overweight. And I said I want a second opinion. And he also said that I'm ugly too. So, <laughs> And then I kicked him in the no-nos just for saying that. It kind of reminds me of this other time where, you know, my cousin, which we were once closest brothers together. Um, and it kind of got silly until he tripped himself uh, one time and uh, he decided, I mean, he walked back with a limp and, and he didn't want to be seen limping around in public. So if, if people were to be like, it's like, hey, why is this guy with you um, and why is he walking so strange? And I'm like, hey, hey, excuse me. This is no ordinary man. This is a rich man. And he's like, yeah, the reason I'm walking like that because I'm a pimp. I'm walking like a pimp, you see? <laughs> Even though he's, he's just a bit of a loony in his own right. But, of course, you know, there's this saying that my uh, grandmother once said. The grandmother that I once mentioned in the Oregon Trail a long time ago, who I mentioned before that she has way better smack talk than I do. That, that my grandmother once said about my cousin that she said... He is so full of shit, his eyes are brown. So, that's quite a saying. Yeah, I can afford a gunpowder loss. I don't, I'm not going to hunt two frequently along the way, so help out. Because I don't want to screw up again on this river crossing and potentially drown somebody. Alkali water. No, get out of here. No water. That's even bad. Farewell bend, and it's rainy, not surprisingly. But no severe thunderstorm just yet. 
This is a place where fallen rocks happen. No, because it already happened once back a ways there. For the third time! With good care, the injured animal may become useful once again. Seriously. Your goose is cooked and served tonight, Ox. But I'm giving you one more chance. If you get injured one more time, oh boy, the things I'm going to do to you. I think I want to anchor that wagon. Holy sweat socks! I knew we shouldn't have been going so fast through this kind of terrain. Bullets! We lost bullets. <gasps> oh my god. The, the, the cholera killed her suddenly. You know, we weren't anywhere near a river. And how can the water be so bad out here if we aren't anywhere near a river? Out on the hill. Do you think it may have been the rain? No, the rain does not give color. You are nuts. It's just the water's bad around here. Of all the people that I would expect to lose, I did not think it would be Relene uh, Velia, the Imperial of um, Elder Skulls Online. Damn it! She was a capable fighter too. Death is part of life. We must shore ourselves up and keep moving on. Uh, we must pro provide a proper burial. An imperial burial. Use ropes chains, shit. Someone's gonna else is gonna lock wheels. God damn it. I'll continue down the wagon. Why were we trying so hard to get down this hill with using all the fancy gimmicks and whatnot? Just go down the hill. Uh. I'm gonna shoot myself for this. Oh my god, I'm only down to a shotgun again. Oh hell, oh hell, oh hell. God, stick the good. Shit, the bear's coming after me. And it didn't. If the, if the bear bite or mauled would have happened, I would have truly deserved it. Honestly. Because of what I've been going through. Dr. Termite might could not save this one, Mike, because the collar was so sudden. But in this case, the water's probably shit around here. No offense to you, but I'm gonna pour this river. God damn it! If you lighten your wagon load. No. No more hills. It's so muddy. It's so rough. It's no water. Losing my mind. The dust sometimes creates such a trouble. No, the mud gives me trouble. We should head straight for the Dells. I don't know which way we should go. No, we must go to Fort Walla Walla because we're beating ourselves up with these supplies or lack thereof. I'm sure these guys sell bullets or. I don't know. I just kind of want to. Let's stop here a while. I'd like to see what they have here. Hey, your voice changed. Welcome. Welcome to the mission. We're so pleased to see you. Howdy. I'm Narcissa Whitman, wife of the doctor. This is our Methodist mission to the local Indians, where we instruct them in the faith and tend to their illnesses. Mm -hmm. Please stay a while. If you have any sick among you, bring them on in. We also have food and some supplies to help you on your way. There better be. There's gonna be hell to pay. You got any bullets? And a rifle again. Thank you very much. Despite the fact that this is a missionary around here. Uh, that, you know, supposed to spread the faith and care to sick for everything. And yet, you sure sell weapons. That's rather strange of you people. Selling guns to strangers. At a place that cares for the sick. But hey. Who am I to question? Hmm? Well, if you don't mind, I like to go hunting in these parts. Oh, oh I'm sorry. I don't want to disturb your peace. <coughs> what are these animals like? I'm surprised we still got our one milk cow. Everything seems to be in order. But horses are cheap in these parts. Oh, 
Oh, that person must be sick. Um, excuse me, sir. I'm Dr. Termi Mite. Am I if I care for a patient? Oh, no. Please step back. Don't come any closer. This poor soul has the measles, and we don't want it to spread. If we're not careful, it can spread like wildfire. Oh, gee. Really? I'm Marcus Whitman, missionary to the local Indians. My wife and I founded this mission several years ago. We're here to bring religion, civilization, and healing to this distant land. And selling guns and bullets to strangers. Let's step outside. This is the sick area, and it's best for both our patients and for you not to be here. If anyone with you needs medical attention, I'll be glad to do whatever I can. Yeah. Don't worry, everybody's all healthy here. Except for Relene. 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 Remember to pronounce her name correctly. In memory of Relene, of course. Still have a pistol, but all they need is a rifle and bullets, and then you're good to go. What about medicine? We don't have that alcohol. That's rubbing alcohol. That's good. You need that. This trail's been kicking ass. In fact, there is... Not exactly. It's taking a toll on us a little bit on supplies, but... We never had a single broken wagon part. Only animals injured, but never a single breaking wagon part throughout this whole trail. Well, you've done jinxed yourself because that may happen sooner or later. Hello! 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 Howdy, I'm looking for my cat. My no, no, Hello? no cats Hello? Hello? Okay, that's it. Who's ever seen that echo? Just gonna shut the f up. Hello? Hello? What are we doing wasting time picking wild vegetables? How about you get off my back, old man? No, I'm not talking to you about you, old man bitch. Stop calling me old man bitch! We don't hear a lot of the old man because we haven't heard a lot about the old man throughout this whole episode. We thought he was going to play a big role, but not really. He's just been much more careful compared to the past installments. Son of a beeswax, it's happened again. If we all pitch in, we can clear a path through these rocks in just a few hours. Oh, let's just continue already. Stop. Nope. Oh, another path. Okay, no. Maybe if we wait here, another wagon train with more people will come along to help us clear a path. Oh, let's try to clear that path. Oh, by the way, it's raining out, so... Oh, my goodness. As long as it's not severe thunderstorm. If I hear a single rumble of thunder out here, whoever's running the weather here should be drugged out into the street and shot. It'll probably take us a day or two to clear those rocks out of our way, but I don't think we have much choice. Let's get to work on it. No, we we tried that. We couldn't work because we lost all of our tools due to tipping our wagons. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Of course conditions have not approved. They're rocks! If I've lost count of how many days spent. They still have not approved. Oh my god, there's no one else coming to Oregon? Are they all going to Sacramento or something? There's gotta be more people coming up here. We can't be the only ones going to Oregon. It's not like Oregon lost its appeal. Come on! Where's everybody? Right here again. Holy Christmas. It, this is worse. I'm, this never happened to me. Finally! We've waited almost an entire month. Sitting. Eating. Memory. All that. Morale slipping because we've waited here for a month watching those rocks just stand in our path doing nothing Ah, oh, this is a terrible trail not the worst ever but who knows but we're gonna 
pissy here. And deal with not having any fruits or vegetables anymore. But we still have our guns. Bullets. Die bear. I'm asking to get, you know, attacked. Cock wagon afloat. On one foot river, surprisingly. I did that on purpose just to get it stuck, but it didn't. <laughs> Pass through Biggs, Jugson. Pretty tranquil in my eye. That river's dangerous. That river's got vengeance in its eyes. See? I told you! I told you! That river is evil! And it's about to take another life. Or not. This is a bad sign. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, I wish this is the era of the Barlow Tow Road, because I would so take that right now. Oh. I would be having a mischief with a mistress one of these days, but... No. And I... And once I get to town, I am not gonna be a cop. I don't want to be the peacekeeper who keeps the peace. I'd rather be the disturber of the peace. Shit disturber of the peace, in fact. But, one thing's for certain. If I die tomorrow, the sun ain't gonna come up. Because if the sun ain't gonna come up tomorrow, you better bring a lantern. So. <laughs> so. I got a lot of money. In fact, let's hunt one more time. Damn it. There. Needs a few more. Come on. One more will suffice. There. Make sure it's unloaded so you don't accidentally shoot yourself. And don't leave too many carcasses. Maybe that could increase the chance of animals appearing and then attack your attack you. I mean, you're gonna be treated like yesterday's news and all that. So, what say you people? Would you want a raft or pay eighty dollars? We mustn't take any chances on early winter snows. Let's be on our way. You're asking outrageous prices to take us down the river. I say we do our rafting ourselves. Well, I just don't want to see any more people suffer. I would just pay, just pay to raft. I mean, we've done a raft down the Columbia River many times, but I'm not in the mood to do all these things because of what I've just, just experienced. And the weather is so full of... Man, this is a... Give me time to think. Give me time. Fuck it, we're gonna wrap down the Columbia River. <laughs> you thought I wouldn't, because I wouldn't miss it for quits. Oh shit. Don't die, man. Sure, you'll take more supply losses, but we want to come and look at like that. Who says that I'm a good doctor anymore? I'm a quack. I mean, quack doctor. Dr. Turney might. Not a real doctor. He's a quack. He is an F U C I N G quack. By the way, that burping, um, that was right on time. I, I did not plan that in advance. It actually came naturally. <laughs> but still. No, 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 I don't care how much we lose anymore. So I hope you like getting wet, you stupid idiots. Let's head for the rapids. Sure, it's dangerous, but it'll be fun. And lead to your own death, because... Okay, I'm gonna, before I portage around the rapids, I want to ask you people real quick. 
Have you ever gone through the route of continue through the rapid to dodge all these rocks? Because it seems near impossible, even for the most experienced of Oregon Trail 2 players. I never come to myself, and I am not going to waste my time on that. Forge around the rapids. And hunt again while we're at it. Because what the hell do I got to live for? I'm slightly depressed. Because we waited a month. A month with these rocks. Come on now! Shoot up in the air, see if it retracts something. Bear. Get. He's gonna kill me. Going back before he kills me, get out on the boat quick! Before that bear comes. Wait a minute, what was the weather like? I did not see if it was rainy or not. I mean, I doubt it makes a little. Hey, I, I thought it makes a little difference on the rafting experience. It doesn't freaking matter. It's not like wind plays a factor here. Now let's visit. It was raining. Son of a. That's it. We're coming to Oregon City, rainy. You better have a good stock right now because I am going to. Vegetables. Yeah, that's what we were missing. And have some salt. And we need more fishing nets because, man, I'd be fishing for days. And get a bunch of box of matches so we can light this fucking wagon on fire once we are... In fact, here's what our plan is going to be. When we arrive at Oregon City, we're just going to take all of our supplies out of the wagon. And then once we're done, light the match, throw it at the wagon, burn the wagon. And I never want to see that thing again. Even though the wagon technically never failed me. In the sense of... The wagon parts never broke. So... Here we go. Just one final F you to the Oregon Trail. Just burn that wagon. We're not leaving this city. And give me a lot of bullets and gunpowder because... Well, we need to prepare ourselves for the inevitable. And that is to um, hunt a lot of bear, deer, anything that's out there. Anything that stands in my way, including they tell me so. quack doctors like him. Let's get moving. One last time. Ah! Where's everything? Oh my god, I'm traveling blind. Oh shit! Yeah, they don't do that again, okay? You may never know that'll occur like that again. Stop touching it. For God's sakes. Stop doing that! Man, it does take a brain-sized scientist to figure out which path to take to the Willamette Valley across these rapids. Man, these things are popping up. Holy crap, they're like wizards! Parking. Come on, move it, move it, move it. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. So long, suckers. A little more, little more. Come on, a little more, a little more. There we go. A little more, a little more. Ha <laughs> ha. We reached Oregon City. Yahoo! All but one. One by some unfortunate luck. So, I'm... Apparently there is no rainy weather here in Oregon City upon our arrival. Excellent! Let's stick that land claim before it starts raining again. 488 acres. Yes, sir! Sign here. Now you're 
Final score. Mm -hmm. We only had five people at good health, surprisingly. Um, Dr. Termy might sure did what he did. And all that and more. Let's see what lies ahead for old Termy Might. Dr. Termy Might settled on 488 acres of land along the banks of the Oregon's Willamette Valley. Despite some hardships in the early years, Dr. Term E. Might proved extremely prosperous, steadily acquiring more land and becoming, elect, becoming a leader in the growing community. Dr. Term E. Might was elected to the County Board of Supervisors in the 1870s and served for many years in that capacity, well respected by all, and number of descendants have followed a similar course, becoming active in state and local politics. Yes, termites run in the state. Ha! 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 Just one time. I'm not going to fucking shoot myself. No, no, no. This is a good ending. In my opinion. Run! It would have been funny if I, you know... You know... Is it possible to turn around? Sorry, can't turn around. Oh, yeah, yeah. We came through the river. You didn't take the Barrel Toe Road, so you can't turn around ever. And there's no such thing as Barrel Toe Road in this timeline, so... Take what you can get. Alright? So... All I could say is, well, yeah, the trail kicked my ass, but we made it. That's all I gotta say. So, Dr. Termite Mike has ranked there. But the true legend of the Oregon Trail from the previous video will always be Nasty Jack Finley. Hells to the yeah. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Oregon Trail 2 for this month. So we hope you come back in three months later for the next exciting episode of the Oregon Trail 2. Now before we get out of here, it's me, Lord Massa. I would like to say one more thing before we get out of here. Is that I hope you enjoyed this, um, this great adventure. Even though the weather has never been on our side. But, hey, it could have been worse. Alright? We could have had hailstorms. We could have had, I don't know. Think of any natural disaster that would have done here in this trail. Hell, getting lockjaw is just as bad as severe weather. So all I can say is for you, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very little, and you're welcome even less. So we hope you tune in for for more exciting videos here on the Lord Master Channel and all sorts of games that I do. Um, unless you're a Oregon Trail enthusiast, well then, be sure to watch many of the past great Oregon Trail videos that I've did over the years. From 2015 on, that's what I believe the best years for me came from. Anything past 2015 is very good. Especially up to the present. So, we'll see you down on the next trail. Wherever it may be. That trail where it may be, and all that and more. I'll hear it right here on the Lord Master Channel. But until then, so long for now. Damn it! No more storms, no more rain, please. Not in my lifetime.